Tonight, after the president's State of the Union address, Governor Gretchen Whitmer will become the face of the Democratic Party as she delivers the Democrats' official response. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel shows us what tonight's speech could mean for her political future. Many politicians who've given State of the Union responses have gone on to run for president, fueling speculation of what's next for Governor Whitmer after tonight. Bobby Jindal, Marco Rubio, Michelle Bachman, they all have a couple of things in common. They've all given a State of the Union response and they've all made a run for president. Tonight, the eyes of the nation will turn from Washington to East Lansing, where Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer will be the next to provide a Democrat's State of the Union response. When the president speaks tonight, I'm not going to focus so much on what he says. I'm going to be focusing on actions that have been taken. Whitmer telling reporters today she'll talk about dinner table issues, infrastructure, health care, jobs. But she's also responding to speculation of what being tapped by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to give the speech could mean for her political future. Well, what it means on all those other fronts, I, I haven't really given much thought to. And I think she asked me because everyone in the world understands how important Michigan is in this in this year in particular, this election year. Whitmer said this about being asked whether she'd be willing to join a ticket as a vice presidential running mate. I would be very flattered, but I've told you many times, you know, I, I love Michigan. I've run for office in Michigan to stay close to the people that I represent and to be home to be near my family. When pressed, she offered an alternative. I'm going to take anyone's call if it comes, but here's the thing. I am not interested in going to Washington, D.C. I never have been. I would encourage any candidate who uh, gets to that point to look very closely at my good friend Stacey Abrams. She'd be a phenomenal running mate. And Abrams, another politician who gave a say the union response just last year. So not a definitive no on VP from Governor Whitmer, but pretty close. For 7 Action News, I'm Brian Abel.